welcome to my lab. I'd just like to show you a little bit about how a hologram is made, uh, particularly the holograms you're looking at, the actual ones. What we're going to do is just give you a nickel tour. We'll start with our laser off to the right side of your screen. Pardon me for blocking the beam. We take our beam of laser light, bounce it off our first mirror, split the beam of light into two separate components, a reference beam, that side, and an object beam on this side. We first pass our object beam through a spatial filter, which is basically a magnifying lens set behind a small pinhole assembly, which cleans up the beam as it spreads it out. We then bounce this light off a mirror, second mirror, transmit it all the way to our object, bounce it off the object, the light hits the photographic plate located here. At the same time this is happening, we're splitting off our beam which we use our, as our reference beam. We clean it up with another spatial filter, bounce it off a mirror, mirror, mirror number three, and that light gets transmitted directly to the plate at the same time as the reference beam and the object beam collide, and then you get a 3D hologram recorded. In a moment, I'll show you how we make the, the copy. Before I show you the next step, what I'd like to do is show you what happens to that master hologram we just, we just demonstrated the making of. Once we finish exposing that first piece of film, we develop it in much the same way that a conventional uh, photograph is made. First, we develop it in, in a small tray located at the center of your screen. After that, we wash it in a, in a tray that's located at the bottom of your screen. Once that's done, we perform a reversal blur on the hologram to make it transparent once again. And this also helps brighten the finished product. And then we wash it in the, in the last tray. Once that's done, then we are ready to make a copy hologram. But first I'd like to show you what the, what the finished transmission master hologram looks like. And here it is. This is our master hologram, which we use in making copies. Of course, it's a lot like a negative in that you wouldn't just show it to just anybody unless you were just using the laser for, for primary dis display. As you can see, you can look around the object as you move from side to side. And we'll get a little closer in. You can even look around things, look behind things. And that is the essence of the master copying hologram. In a moment, yes, I'll show you how we make that copy hologram. Well, hello again. Miss me? Well, I'm going to show you a little bit more about our holography. We're ready to show you how the copy is made. And basically, the setup looks almost the same, only you notice there's two of these plate holders, and our other mirrors have been spread out a little bit further to accommodate these plate holders. Basically, as, as stated earlier, we split our beam into two primary beams, a uh, object beam and a reference beam. And of course, in this case, we're using our object beam, passing it through our spatial filter, bouncing it off our mirror, and bringing it to the object plate holder, which, which is now holding the original transmission hologram you just saw earlier. And this hologram basically is capable of transmitting its image from here to here. It's hard to believe, but it does. Holograms can do that. And of course, here is our recording plate holder. At the same time, we're splitting off our reference beam passing it through a spatial filter, bouncing it off a mirror, and bringing the beam, the reference beam, straight to the, to, the object, to the plate holder for our recording. Once that's done, then we develop it in much the same way that, that you saw just a moment ago. In fact, it's identical. And that concludes the, the demonstration for how a hologram is made. In a moment, I'll show you what, what the final result of this procedure. And this is our final result a hologram viewable in ordinary white light which is shining down from above. And again as you can see we can move around the hologram and see what's inside, look around objects, look over and under objects. And of course as you can see this is actually a hologram of an Apollo space capsule model.
And of course, none of this would have been possible without the use of a special isolation table, which prevents vibrations from the ground from interfering with the making of a hologram. And what this table consists of is a steel top, quarter inch thick, laid on several layers of foam padding. And all of this is resting on top of a slab of concrete measuring six inches thick, four feet by four feet wide. And this is all resting on top of an inner tube system. There are approximately five inner tubes under this table. And we've just recently replaced the isolation system, uh, that being the inner tubes, just a little bit ago. And of course the table weighs in at approximately 2,500 pounds. It's the world's heaviest coffee table. And this concludes our tour of Parallax Holograms Studio. I certainly hope you enjoyed the show. Look forward to seeing you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.